Hey guys, what's up? It's Umbra here, and today I want to talk about something hardware related. So, going back to like some of my other videos when I was talking about maybe why PC gaming is cheaper than you might think, right now I want to talk about the other side of the argument I was making and why it could be better to get a PS5 or Xbox Series X rather than a PC, at least for the time being. So, let's get into this. So, as of June 2021, at the time of me recording this video, it'll probably be July, many of the new video game systems or components are still incredibly difficult to find for the average consumer. However, I think you should consider all of your options of which system to get and why trying to get a PS5 or an Xbox Series X could be better than trying to get a PC. So I'll explain right here. While next-gen video game systems and graphics cards are equally extremely hard to find, although I feel like graphics cards are more difficult to find than, than Xboxes or PS5s, although Xbox Series X and Series S are the easiest to find, but, but that's off-topic. The situation with the graphics cards are even more difficult. For example, many of the new GPUs have risen in price since they released as a result of various different elements such as scalpers buying the cards only to resell them on third-party websites at a higher price, or manufacturers or retail stores raising the price of the MSRP to, lack, to reflect the lack of supply. However, despite the lack of supply of next-gen consoles, they haven't risen in price, and thankfully, unlike GPUs, if you weren't able to find one day one, you'll still be, and you just so happen to find a console in store, you will be able to get it at the same MSRP that it released at. Assuming you don't fall victim to scalpers on eBay or Kijiji or Craigslist, please don't. Please save your money for when you can find it. Well, not to give Microsoft and Sony ideas to raise the MSRP if they just so happen to stumble across this video. If that's the case, Sony, when are we getting Bloodborne 2? And, uh, Microsoft, I wouldn't mind a release date for Halo Infinite. Additionally, if you're on a budget and are interested in buying parts for a new build, then it might be wise to consider buying a console as you would only have to buy the console and maybe a few games or Xbox Game Pass if you decide to go with any of the Xbox Series consoles, rather than trying to seek out all of the p individual parts and wait until you can get your hands on a GPU and possibly risk having to pay somewhere over $200 over the MSRP. Although, if you are upgrading your current bill that is able to go well with your new GPU, then I would consider going with a GPU that you can get your hands on at a reasonable price. Unless you were deciding to switch to console, or there are some aspects of the new consoles that you desire, and you're fine with your PC's current performance. So, overall, with these considerations in mind, if you're looking to purchase a new gaming system, it may be easier and more cost-effective for you to just get a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X for the time being. However, I am by no means saying that PC gaming is bad and you should abandon the notion of even getting a, piece, a gaming PC. If you decide to get a console right now but still want to get a PC later down the line, when it's cheaper and more obtainable, then by all means go for it. The more the merrier is what I say, and what your electricity bills will say too. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this short little video helping me with this dilemma. I hope this helps you make your decision. Subscribe for more gaming content, follow me on Twitter and Twitch, and I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Umbra, out.